Chef Meadows is in the kitchen at this hour every day on What's New, and today he welcomes a very special guest, Janet Lee. Would you welcome Chef Meadows? Hi, everybody. Good to see you this morning. Good morning, Janet. Good Jeff. morning, Chef. Oh, gee, it's great to have you here. Thank you. Know, you. What I'm going to make today is really a simple thing, and it's in case somebody comes over to your house or anybody's house and you, you know, you don't have anything to offer them. And you know, usually when you have company, you feel like Just to whip up something. Yeah, right, you, you should offer them something. So I felt that everybody has cheese, everybody has mayonnaise, and usually they have a can of tuna or shrimp or crab meat or something like that, right? Right. Okay, now the basis of this is that I'm gonna take, and you can measure it out, about a cup full of mayonnaise. Now. And usually we have that right in the refrigerator or cupboard. Now, the next thing that goes with this is uh, probably a cup of cheese. And what's so great about this, you can, if you've got two cups of cheese or you've got a half a cup of cheese, it doesn't matter. Now, for seasoning, I have a little seasoning salt. Okay. So far, I think I can handle okay. it. Okay. And we just put this little seasoning salt in there. And then the next thing, we just mix it up. And you can put a little drop of Tabasco sauce in there or whatever. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, and a lot of people cringe at this, I'm going to put in one raw egg, but we're going to cook this so it doesn't no matter what happens. You don't like raw eggs? Uh, well, not just to gulp it down, okay, but okay. I mean, I think right, that's well, going to be fine. All right, we're going to cook this up. Now, I'm going to just mix this up with the raw egg, right? And we usually have all these ingredients, so it's very simple. Now, I had some uh, celery I had left over I wanted to get rid of, so I'm going to put that celery in there because it makes it nice and crunchy and uh, whatever. And it don't, you, you really don't have to worry about the amount of cheese. I mean, that's right. That's now, what's now, great. Yeah. That, well, this is a, a very good recipe because it, you know, it's if so you, loose. Right. If you have a little bit of mayonnaise or whatever. So okay. Right. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, now I, I did have a can of tuna, so I'm gonna put the can of tuna. Now if they have the shrimp or if they have crab meat or whatever, it's just really wonderful. Now, see how that looks? Looks good. No, thank you. Okay, now I have some English muffins. Now if they don't have English muffins, all they have to do is take and put in uh, hamburger buns. Okay. Something like that and we just go and we put this I'm going to start on this end here quickly. But this is enough for all these English muffins. Now, of course, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because they can do this at home very easily. But that really is super because you could just whip that up without any problem. Right. Yeah. Now, if they have Parmesan cheese, and this is another thing, if they don't have, they don't have to worry about it. little Parmesan cheese on here, or they can take just a little dab of cheese, put on top of that little paprika. Now, set the oven 350 degrees. Leave it there for about 10, 12 minutes. And I'm going to show you how this come out. If you stand here and just say anything you want to the audience, anything you want to plug or say, you do it. Sure, come out. <coughs> <laughs> I'm leaving the show. I've uh, <laughs> I lost the whole thing, right? Okay. Now, now, see how nice these are. That looks delicious. Doesn't it really, really? look good? Now, do we get the taste? Certainly. But does this really look gorgeous and nice? And I it have does. a plate right here. <laughs> The thing that I really appreciate with that is the fact that it's uh, so easy and quick and you don't make someone feel that you're going to this big deal, That's you right. know, to give them a little taste. Really, and it's really very, <laughs> very, very good for you. Soigne, it's really good for you because it's got all the cheese and, and things that are in. What's great about it, we have all these things in the house that we can make it, how does it taste? Tastes does that good. mean good? Mm -hmm. Good, you bet your life it's good, right. But, now, out of this mixture here, I filled all these. I didn't add anything else, just what I put on here. So you see, you get quite a bit. Now, that's six muffins, there, and I cut them in half. So there's 12, and you got 12 pieces. And it's it's just delicious. So, just so you can feed probably uh, 12 different people. 
and say, you, you know, I wanted to mention this to you because in case that you're interested, that all my recipes, I have to mention this, that all my recipes for all these things for the last three weeks are going to be at the Super Value Store. You know, I thought you might like to know that in case you're around there and want to stop by. Gee, you're sure nice. Okay, you know? I'll, I'll stop here. <laughs> you don't talk a lot, you know, really. And I thought that you would just be talking all the time. I was busy watching Gee, and eating. Good. You're so great, really. Thank you for being on the Thank show. You. Hey, it's time to go back to Warren and Nancy. And until Monday, see you all then. And God love every one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Chef Meadows. I can't understand why it's difficult to talk when Hank Meadows is around, can you? I can't either. He said she was so quiet. Uh, that is surprising. It is a little difficult to get the word in edgeways, even when you don't have a mouthful of food. It certainly <laughs> is. We'll be back. Ms. Lee's going to join us behind the set with the Minnesota Crafts Festival. show coming up here in the Twin Cities area that is in fact national in scope and we're back again with Janet Lee. Nancy just ask you if you were an artist of sorts, Janet. Well nothing like this uh, as clever and complicated as this but uh, my husband and I do paint. Oh, do you? What, mm -hmm. ki what kind of? Well oils, uh, acrylic, we do different really? different styles. We Together? Sometimes, yes. Really? We have joint efforts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, individual as well. Yeah. The Minnesota Crafts Festival is a very special event which will be taking place at St. Catharines College. About 130 beautiful designers and craftsmen, as Perry Sykes tells us, uh, who have been juried, in fact, in order to be here. You can't just participate because you feel like it. You are indeed chosen. Chuck Holling is also with us, and Chuck is one of the artists that will be present at St. Catharines, and he will be doing pottery. Yes, I'm a functional uh, potter. I make what, okay. What does functional potter mean? I make things like uh, casseroles, uh, platters, uh, serving pieces for use in the kitchen and the table on the table. I know Perry's got a lot to tell us, but can you begin doing this so that we can perhaps? <laughs> what Perry, can you tell us? Maybe we talk about some work? of the finished products he has I'm right over here too at the same now. time. As we're watching that, Nancy, we'll just we'll talk a little bit about some of these right. that are back around here, okay. Warren. Here at the end of the table are all examples of Chuck's uh, work. These are all different uh, pots, casseroles, plates, which um, Chuck has uh, made. Mm -hmm. Beautiful workmanship. There probably will be roughly 40% of the exhibitors will be potters. Some functional, you see that, some just non -functional. a mass of, of, of the uh, clay right there, and then to see it the be a bowl be or a, a, a vase or something, it's just... Uh, necklaces, uh, glassware, such a touch and then you're standing we... right in front of examples of another major. Okay. I... See the different shapes? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not doing a very good job with this microphone. Why don't you step back around here so that we can get out of the way and look Let us interrupt you, too, okay. if we can, for just we'll a moment, because look at it, Janet, you were commenting on how this takes shape. Well, he has gone through.